Did Michael Jackson do it? That's the question that's resurfaced since the release of HBO's two-part documentary, Leaving Neverland. However, Michael Jackson's family is speaking out and they have had enough. What's up guys, I'm Emil Ennis Jr. here for The Trendy, where we break down the latest in celebrity and pop culture news. Listen, you've probably been hearing everyone talking about the controversial Leaving Neverland documentary. The documentary directed by Dan Reed focuses on the stories of Wade Robson and James Safechuck. And while Michael Jackson was alive and even after he passed away, he faced horrible allegations that are now coming back to light. But did they ever really go away? The documentary purposely avoided getting stories from the family and was definitely focused on one side. However, it's not my job to tell you what to believe in this situation. All I can say is watch the documentary if you want, but also do your own research. In the meantime, Michael's family is speaking out in defense of him because as we approach the 10 year anniversary of his death, his legacy is on the line. So let's see what they have to say. Michael's daughter, Paris Jackson, responded to tweets mentioning the controversy, and she had a lot to say. In a now deleted tweet, Paris responded to an article saying, I actually haven't made any statements yet, especially regarding how it affects my work life. You guys are reaching a bit. At least this wasn't a disgusting and attacking article though. She went on to say, I know injustices are frustrating and it's easy to get worked up, but reacting with a calm mind usually is more logical than acting out of rage, and also it feels better to mellow out. Smoke some weed and think about the bigger picture. Chillax, my dudes. Somebody responded saying, the bigger picture is your father's legacy ruined and his name smeared forever. But whatever though. She responded saying, so not love and peace and trying to carry that message out? Tabloids and lies are the bigger picture? I'll pray for you. So even though it wasn't a direct statement, it's pretty clear how Paris feels about all this. Now Michael's brother Tito Jackson posted the photo on his Instagram with the caption, we're defending our brother and uncle because Michael is not here anymore to defend himself. Facts don't lie, people do. Did you watch us on CBS this morning? Now in the interview with Gail King, they not only denied the allegations, but insisted that this was all for money. Another family member that is speaking out is Michael's nephew, TJ Jackson. On his Instagram, he posted this photo with a long caption of support for Michael. He begins by saying, I've always been close to my uncle, but it was after my mother was murdered when I was 16 in 94 that he truly became invested in my well-being. He knew I was hurt, he knew I was damaged, he knew I needed help, and he rose up and showered me with love, gifts, and inspiration. It wasn't grooming as they want you to believe, it was needed love. He later goes on to say, I wish the truth was equally as lucrative. I wish positivity sold. Instead, negativity sells. So with the help of every production trick possible, these performers, one who has self-proclaimed himself as the master of deception, get a forum to try to help their billion dollar lawsuits and try to be victims in this important time of the Me Too movement. And with the support of Hollywood powers who have always disliked my uncle, such as Oprah, they will do their part to try to level my uncle, even though he can't defend himself and he can't shred their claims. Disgusting and sad. Another one of Michael's nephews, Taj, has a lot to say, and he said in one interview that it hurts because the documentary is one-sided and they never got to see it before it was released and they never got to respond to it. Speaking of responses though, one person who hasn't responded is Janet Jackson, and Taj thinks he knows why. He told E! News, I don't think she wants to give this attention. As soon as she would have said something, it would have given it a bigger platform. Now another person who is not part of the family but has definitely picked a side is none other than Oprah. Ahead of the documentary's premiere, it was revealed that Oprah would be interviewing Dan Reed, Wade Robson, and James Safechuck in a special titled Oprah Winfrey Presents After Neverland. Now during the special, Oprah acknowledges that she would probably get backlash for her involvement, but she said, quote, the story is bigger than, as I said in the beginning, it's bigger than any one person. And don't let any person in your world make it just about what Michael Jackson did or did not do. It's about this thing, this insidious pattern that's happening in our culture that we refuse to look at. Now, of course, the innocence of Michael Jackson is such a divisive issue, and it doesn't really look like this conversation is gonna end anytime soon even almost 10 years after his death. But fans continue to fight for his innocence to prove that everything that's coming out is a lie. Many fans are pointing out that some of the language on the Robson Child Abuse and Prevention Fund website has changed since the documentary aired. So before it aired, it said, it was established in 2019 by Wade and Amanda Robson with a personal donation, Wade Robson, a survivor of abuse, along with Amanda Robson, his wife, mother of their child, and also a survivor of child abuse, wanted to create a powerful way to contribute towards the healing from and prevention of child abuse. 
However, after the documentary aired, the part about Amanda being abused is gone because in the documentary she says she knew nothing about child abuse and didn't know how to help. So as you can see, there's a lot of information coming from both sides, but I want to know what you guys think. Did you watch the documentary and are you surprised that the family stood up for him? Let us know in the comment section below what you think about that or anything else we talked about. And of course, thanks so much for watching The Trendy. I'm your host, Emilianish Jr. Be sure to like this video, comment below, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.